to 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 come back on the main uh, uh, elements of change you know not specific examples but i think we should definitely put the accent in our research on our points to be raised on two elements one youth i mean everybody already mentioned youth but the uh, the fact that what, what characterizes now youth at this period in, in history is really their consciousness their ability to understand that they can be really an actor of, for, for change. You know, they are drivers for change. And they do have access. Uh, they know that they can have access, uh, things that has been denied in the past, or that was not easy to, 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 uh, to be accepted, to, be, to become part of the, uh, let's say, leadership or new leadership. So the element of youth certainly is of crucial importance, and this is applicable to grassroots projects, to the local level, but also to the, the higher spheres of command, let's put it like that. The other element for me that is very important is people, people resilience. And the resilience uh, from uh, any kind of uh, chaos, disaster uh, uh, situations, uh, things that are often underestimated, the ability of masses of people, of people to react to adjust to uh, rebounds and, and, uh, and transform. So uh, we have plenty of examples um, of people, vulnerable people, women, um, people in displacement, people in conflict that know how to um, readjust their lives. And normally they are ahead of their own leaders. So this is another thing that we have to factor in. I mean, we always think, even the motto of the United Nations, as you know, uh, says, uh, leave no one behind. Uh, well, uh, it's something that we should probably reconsider when we talk about people resilience and their ability to go by themselves ahead of us, uh, ahead of the so-called leadership. Uh, uh, so it's not that people are left behind. Normally, people are not understood. Uh, uh, by leaders. <laughs> that means that, I mean, we should first, when we assess the situation, we should catch up with where they stand, what they think, and what they're capable of doing. So, uh, uh, before saying who is left behind and who is ahead of us, or who is behind and who can uh, can up later on. So, resilience as a matter of really ability, so it's a positive element uh, of transformation the capacity of individuals and masses of people to adapt to the, uh, the, the most uh, uh, difficult situations and again, uh, transform them uh, positively. 